2022 is the year of the tiger and a critical year for tiger conservation. This big cat has made a comeback in the last 12 years. But in 2010, the last year of the tiger, it was a different story. Tiger populations were at an all-time low with just 3,200 left in the wild and they were heading towards extinction. So in that same year, tiger range countries came together and made an ambitious commitment to double the number of tigers in the wild by 2022. And over the last 12 years, governments, communities and organizations like WWF have been working to do just that. In India, partnerships with local communities are resulting in the protection of tiger corridors. In Nepal and Bhutan, law enforcement monitoring tools are reducing poaching. In Russia, tigers are starting to reclaim their historic range and China has created the world's largest tiger protected area. But this is just a snapshot of the success and tiger numbers continue to increase in Bhutan, China, India, Nepal and Russia. It's a glimmer of hope, but the progress is fragile because tigers are still under threat. They are reduced to less than 5% of their historic range. And wild tigers in Southeast Asia continue to decline at an alarming rate. So how can we restore Asia's roar? Governments need to take immediate action to stop poaching, end the illegal trade and demand for tiger parts. And we need to work with partners, including local communities, to expand the tiger's shrinking range connect their habitat and make landscapes safer for tigers and people. The threats causing the decline of tigers have not yet disappeared. We need bold commitments from governments at this year's Global Tiger Summit to secure a future for this iconic big cat. The time to act is now. Because when we protect tigers, we protect so much more.